What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Work for Avocados, the channel all about surfing, skating, and being stoked on the small stuff. The past few days I have been bedridden because I helped move a fridge downstairs for my landlord, I did not have the best form, and I've been in crippling, agonizing pain the past few days. This is the first day I've been able to sit upright a little bit and actually walk around the block. Been out of work, been out of surfing, been out of skating, but I am still stoked, why you may ask, because the new documentary on Tony Hawk has just come out until the wheels fall off. I'm a huge fan of Hawk. I'm a huge fan of the Bones Brigade. So of course, I'm gonna watch it the first chance that I get. What I also thought would be cool would be to share my thoughts on the film with you guys. I am not going to be including many scenes from the film because I am trying to not get my channel copyright, copyright stricken, struck, whatever the proper terminology is. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it and go watch the film yourself. At its surface, until the wheels fall off, is just a documentary about a man pursuing a career through wood and four wheels. But on a deeper level, it's actually the physical personification of the human spirit. The documentary takes you through the life of legendary skateboarder Tony Hawk, and throughout the two hour film, we're presented through the emotional, familial, and mental struggles he's endured in his very full life. It's a story of perseverance, grit, and a questionable level of dedication that just might override the physical bodies we've been given here on this earth. Skateboarding is many things for Hawk. It's the antidote and the poison. It's the vehicle that drives him through his depression and at the same time leads him there in the first place. The film kicks off with how he discovered skateboarding through a board that his brother had lent him. And even though it's the very first thing that he ever felt good at, his lanky body made his skating seem very unesthetically pleasing. Turning his weakness into strengths, he created his own style, pushing the boundaries of what was believed to be possible. His family is as supportive of his skating as they could possibly be, yet their effectiveness in doing so draws ire from his competitors, who question his true ability in these contests that are organized from his father. As he ages, he grows into his own style and post pubescent frame and quickly ascends to the top of the ranks. His quick technical skating lacked the surfy flair of other competitors at the time, such as Christian Hasoy. But the volume and prowess of his bag of tricks made him an absolute monster to compete with. After falling into a deep depression as the man on top of the mountain, he was forced to redefine what competing actually was. Competition was no longer about points or placing higher than others. After speaking with fellow Bones Brigade member Rodney Mullen, he realized that the fiercest competitor that he will now be challenged with is the man that he has to look whenever he sees the mirror. Skateboarding is everything and nothing. For those unfamiliar with the sport, it's a piece of wood with wheels and some metal. Yet movement is the purest form of self-expression and the barrier of what we imagine our limits to be as humans. As you're reminded of all the incredible feats that Tony has accomplished throughout the years, you see that the years of slams have not been without their toll, as a now older Hawk must face the reality of what he is and is no longer capable of. But how can something so ingrained in our expression of who we are be removed? Until the Wheels Fall Off feature commentary from those closest to Hawk throughout his career. With plenty of nostalgic moments from members of the Bones Brigade, we're now able to see into the team's dynamic at the time. Rodney Mullen shares that by being the complete opposite to Tony in styles and not having to compete with him, he was able to relate to Tony in a way that nobody else was able to. Even former adversaries such as Dwayne Peters opens up about an incredible emotional exchange between the two. The film is fairly long at a little over two hours and at times it does begin to feel like a two hour long movie. But there's so much to unpack in this that it would be a disservice to Hawk and to skateboarding to remove any of these sections. In conclusion, Until the Wheels Fall Off quintessentially captures the spirit of skateboarding and the prevalence of the human spirit to challenge oneself. There were a few things that I would have liked to see in the film. The first being a little more comparison between the rivalry of Christian Hasoy and Tony Hawk. Just having completely opposite styles I feel would have highlighted really what Tony Hawk was doing at the time compared to his other competitors. Throughout the years, there also have been questionable comments made from the Pappas brothers, 
who have accused Tony in the past of trying to steal the 900 from them. And even though this is something Tony has outright refuted in the past and opened up about, with so much vulnerability going on in the movie, it was something that I kind of expected to see and was surprised that didn't show up. Overall though, I thought it was a fantastic picture. I'd rate it a 90 out of 100. Uh, my only issue being that I felt like it ran a little bit long. I don't know what they could have done without taking stuff out, but overall, I think it was awesome. You guys can watch the movie on HBO Max. It's definitely something I recommend watching. If you're a fan of the Bones Brigade, if you are a fan of skateboarding in general, or if you're just looking for a very inspirational film. If this is your first time here, my name is Michael. This is Work for Avocados, the channel all about surfing, skating, and being stoked on the small stuff. If you guys enjoyed this review, do me a huge favor and smash that like and subscribe button down below. It really does help support this channel and push this to other people throughout the algorithm. I'm a very average board rider coming out of St. Augustine, Florida. If you guys enjoyed this film, leave a comment below on your favorite section or some things that you didn't like about it. Until next time, this is Michael with Work for Avocados, and I will see y'all out on the ramps.